The stunt on Wednesday by Hunter Biden and his legal team didn't go over well in Democratic circles. So uh, they did a flip-flop today, 180-degree turnabout, and say, all right, we will show up now because this is a legitimate impeachment proceeding. It's authorized by, send us a new subpoena. Well, here's what Jim Jordan and James Comer said. We don't need to send you a new subpoena. You had a lawful subpoena. Now, we're heartened that you're talking about cooperating. I think the status is right now, he need, the next move has to be by Hunter Biden. He has to send a date. If he sends a date and says, I'll commit to that date, I think Congress will send him another subpoena, locking in that date by subpoena, and then Hunter Biden will have to come in and testify, and then they'll stop the uh, impeachment proceed, or excuse me, the contempt proceedings. Until then, uh, the contempt proceedings are going to hang over and they're going to proceed forward to keep maximum pressure on Hunter Biden. Now, there's one thing here that we all have to consider. Just because Hunter Biden says he'll now show up for the deposition does not mean he will answer questions. He has two uh, federal indictments, 12 charges, several of them serious felonies. He may come in and then just take the Fifth Amendment because he doesn't want to say things that can be used against them in the court of law. So Republicans have to keep pressure, have to be aware that this could be another stunt, which is I'll come in, but then I'm just going to take the Fifth Amendment and we've dragged it out longer. We don't know the state of play. I can't get an answer from Hunter Biden's lawyers on whether he has some Fifth Amendment issues he intends to invoke. Uh, but this is going to be a game of chicken. Comer and Jordan are going to stand their ground until Hunter Biden blinks further, gives him a date. And I think that'll be the next thing we see. Meanwhile, the tone deafness is still there, right? Joe Biden bragging about tax, uh, cracking down on chat, tax cheats when his own son just the day before was in court for tax cheating. Uh, the, the disconnects between the Biden media strategy and the reality of what American voters see could never be farther apart. The Biden team keeps making big mistakes. All right.